to the SLDP application orientation. Um, my name is Rachel and I am the Summer Leadership Development Program Director here at Cameron House and SLDP is our program for rising 8th graders and above, so our high schoolers. Now for the application itself, I'll be walking over the components as well as how to best fill it out things that you shouldn't miss and need to pay attention to, and then finally the documents that you will need um, in your application, such as your cover letter and your reference letter. So we'll begin by going to our website, CameronHouse.org, and here you can click on Youth and Young Adults, go down to High School, and then move to SLDP here. If you go ahead and click on that page, then you will be brought to our program website. And here are our dates. It will begin on June 15th and go until July 31st. There's a little bit of information about our program here, as well as some videos that you can watch um, to get some real life footage of what day camp is like for our leaders. Um, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will find different tabs that give information on the application requirements such as age restriction, the deadline, um, the fee. And if you are a first year applicant, then the fee will be $150. But if you have any financial hardship, we have financial assistance available. So please email us and we can figure something out. If you choose not to be a summer leader, then the fee is refundable minus an application fee, which is $35. Underneath is an example of our weekly schedule. And then important dates such as deadlines for application submissions, when program begins, um, also our orientation day, which is mandatory in mid-May, and holidays such as July 4th, and details like that. And then finally, leader placement. This is a short description of the three different summer day camps that we have here at Cameron House. BYP for short and Ventures. These two are our elementary age programs. And then Solid Ground is our middle school age program. So as a leader, you can notify your preference for which department you would like to be placed in, and we will do our best to accommodate everybody's preferences. So read up a little bit here about the different types of program that we offer um, and the differences between all three. That way you know on the application which preferences you would like to indicate. Now we get to the application itself here under Application tab and you will click on apply for SLDP now. But notice down here there's some important information. You must submit all necessary documents. So if you are a first time applicant, you must submit a cover letter and a reference letter. And then we will notify you that we have received your application. So without the documents, your application is considered incomplete. And then you must also attend our mandatory SLDP orientation day, Saturday, May 16th. And then once you have attended, then we will let you know your placement and also a final confirmation of your acceptance into our program. So I'm going to open and walk through the application. Um, in total, it is seven pages. And if you are a youth watching this video, then I highly recommend you fill out the form with your parent or your guardian um, next to you because there is some information that refers to your health insurance, your emergency contacts, medical conditions. So that way you can just get it all done at once instead of having to keep coming back to the application. At the very top, you'll see there is a save my progress and resume later option. If you go ahead and toggle that button, then you can enter in an email and a password to um, go back to uh, application in progress. So let's say you get to page three, but you're pulled away, you have to go somewhere, then you can save and log back in here with this link. Okay. 
The first intro page here is just some information. Um, and then down here is where we'll begin. So basic applicants information, uh, the youth's first name, last name, their home phone, and then a youth email. Um, we recommend that all emails you apply with, that it's an email that's often and regularly checked. Um, we send a lot of important information, payment confirmations. If there's any issues, we will reach out to you through email first. So we highly recommend you put a regularly checked email address. For our youth though, please do not put an SFUSD email address. Um, we've had a lot of issues in the past where all of the emails we were sending to sfusd.edu, those emails were all being blocked or rejected, so you do not get any of the information that you need to see. So maybe here you could put a Gmail or you could put a Yahoo email, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to be filling out this test application and I will put my Cameron House email address and gender here you may choose or write in your own preference your birthday and then what grade you will be in in fall 2020 as well as your t-shirt size and then down here we ask for your address so in the first field you're going to want to put your street name and your number so i will put 920 sacramento and then here under street type, please select which street or if it's an avenue, etc. The city, the state abbreviation, and then your zip code, okay? Underneath will ask you for what school you attend. So if you go to an SFUSD school, you can select it from this drop down list. And if you don't, then simply select the second option and you can write in the name of your school. Now this section you might need your parents help on. We'll ask for your health and dental insurance information um, in case you get into any accidents or have any injuries while you're here at camp, then we know how to provide medical help for you. So I'm gonna fill this in with test values. Um, and only the fields that have been marked with a red asterisk are necessary to fill out. So you can see here only the first two fields are mandatory to fill out. Down here we'll ask about your medical history, um, things like vaccinations or if you take any medications. So first question is if you've received all vaccinations that the school district requires. And if you are a student that's currently attending school then most likely you will click yes here. Then we'll also ask you for the last date of your tetanus shot. So I will just put the date from yesterday here. And then do you, the youth, have any communicable diseases that may be a risk to yourself or others? Um, if you don't know, certainly you should ask your questions, uh, you should ask your parents about this question here. Next, we'll ask about allergies. Do you have any food or drug allergies? Now, if you click yes, then we will ask you to fill in this text box. Um, please describe in as much detail as you can. For example, maybe you'll put shellfish, all nuts, and um, we've had some participants who can't take certain drugs, for example, or they have a really severe grass allergy, etc. And if you click no, then that field will not pop up, okay? So you can give us more detail in the field here. The next question is what medications you're currently taking? Um, perhaps maybe you take Claritin when allergies are severe. Or if you don't take anything at all, then just simply put none. Does the applicant have an individualized education program, an IEP? So if you are a youth filling this out yourself and you do not know, you can ask your parent, but you can also choose to not answer. If you click yes, then we will ask if the parent is willing to discuss with staff how we can better support your child. You can click yes or no, or you can also simply just click no or prefer not to answer. The last two questions here, 
The first one is about any special considerations that staff should know about your youth. So maybe previous injuries, dietary restrictions, etc. So um, perhaps they had a knee injury back in May um, and the doctor has advised that they cannot run for extended amount of time. Um, extended amount of time or vegetarian diet, um, anything that may be a concern or that staff should know about your youth, please do use this box to give us any details. This question is not mandatory, but if you have a preferred hospital, then you may list it here. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next page with this button.